Preparing for system design interview rounds is altogether a different game. In this video, we will see how to prepare for system design interview rounds. Also, while preparing for system design interviews, what are the points you should keep in mind? And sometimes we have seen the project discussion round and the system design rounds are combined in one. So how to tackle that rounds also? There is no doubt that when you want to switch your company, you need to go through the coding and system design interviews round. Coding rounds are somewhat manageable. If you do the practice for, you know, the three to four months, you can able to manage the coding rounds with the DSA questions. But the system design is really a nightmare for a lot of working professionals. Rejection ratio is quite high in a system design round. Mostly the system design rounds is a discussion round about the system architecture. The interviewer will ask you about the different system architecture in a detail in a system design round. So interviewer can easily identify with the few number of questions only that the candidate they are hiring really have a knowledge or he's just making some random guesses in a system design round. So generally the duration for system design round is one hour where they ask one question like, you know, design some system like design YouTube, design make my trip, design IRCTC, etc. So one question they will ask you and complete one hour of time. The interviewer will go through this one single design problem only. So through this question, they will understand how much your understanding of scalability and distributed system. This is a very important point of system design, scalability and distributed system and how well you can design the high level design that is HLD and low level design that is LLD for any system because tomorrow let's say they will hire you and you start working in a company. So tomorrow while working in some project, when the client come up with the requirement, it's sometimes the responsibility of the team to come up with the perfect design. So there is no any problem while implementing it. So perfect design can lead to the perfect product. That is the reason the system design round is so important for a company for the hiring the right candidate for it. Generally, very senior guys will in the team come for the system design rounds. What are the topics we should prepare for system design interviews? Well, first let's understand the system, how system works. So system has three things that is front end, then you have back end and the databases. So the front end is to access the system, how to access the system. Customer is access your system using the front end only, which we call it user interface. So we have multiple APIs to access the system. So this is the first part that is front end. Then you have the back end system. So back end system design is the most complex system, which does all the computation. So we use a lot of technologies here like load balancers, cache, application server and all those things. So this is the most complex part of the system, the backend system. And then you have the databases where we store and retrieve the data. So we use here the sharding technology most of the time. Now the complexity mostly comes in the backend architecture and the database part. So all this system design architecture is all about the backend architecture of a system. So for understanding the system design architecture, the first thing that you need to learn is scalability and the performance very important point scalability and the performance of a system like how you scale your system and how you increase your performance of a system so mostly the technology that comes in the scalability part is like you know this uh, horizontal and vertical scaling then you have load balancing caching database sharding similarly you have replication part of it to achieve the scalability part of it similarly for performance you also use these uh, latencies throughput cd and db performance etc so performance and the the performance and the scalability is very important. Whenever your interviewer asks any system design question to you, the main aspect of the question is how you achieve the scalability in your system. Like what if tomorrow 1 million users start accessing your system suddenly, how you can manage such huge traffic. So your system is always up. So their main intention is your system should be scalable very easily. And then also with such a huge traffic, the such a huge scalability, how you maintain the best performance. So scalability and the performance is the main aspect of a system design. Then the second part is availability and the fault tolerance. What is availability? Availability means it means your system should always be available even if there is a failure. And the fault tolerance is, is the ability of a system to continue operating without interruption even if one or more component of a system is fails. Like for example, you have designed a system, you have some n components are there, let's say eight components are there. Out of these eight components, if one component fail, still your system should always be up. That is the meaning of the fault tolerance and your system should 24 cross 7 should be available. Then you should know the architectural pattern, how to design the system. There are various types of architectural pattern that involve. So for system architecture, you should have a very good understanding of most important microservice architecture. If you are going for system design interviews, definitely you should prepare microservice architecture very well. Like you know how to convert this monolithic system to microservice. Then you have service discovery, the API gateway, 
then you are sending the data from one microservice to another microservice using kafka active mqs rabbit mqs and all so these are the architectural pattern that you should have a good understanding of it and then we have the api development part see the apis is the thing that through which you are accessing the system so api development is a must for engineer who are designing the system so you should know how to design apis like you know these get operations post delete operation basically the rest apis you should know the rest api design principles the crud operations how to access the all the data from the system through this get post delete operations and all then along with the designing and developing this api you should also know how to secure this api the api security part like authentications authorizations like you know these uh, oauth jwt token basic encryption mechanism like tls ssl that you should also know this is the api development and api security part and then we have the caching and database sharding see caching architecture is like a temporary storage layer that holds the frequently accessed data you know this like you have a system and you want to retrieve the data very fast so you can't just go to the database all the time so that's why you have a cache so you should understand this caching mechanism then if you have distributed cache also comes in picture like you know these redis the mem cache and all similarly you have databases the main database part which holds the permanent data it can be a mysql or it can be a no sql like mongodb cassandra and all so there in the permanent database storage we use the sharding techniques so sharding techniques is to horizontal partition the data into the multiple databases so basically you are dividing the data 